The Missouri United Methodist Church in Columbia is still recovering after a fire broke out around 4 this morning. The Columbia Fire Department says that it started on a stage from a piece of sound equipment, but no one was hurt. ABC 17's Nia Hinson joins us live from the church tonight after speaking with the member. Nia, you're told the church will do some rearranging of where its services are now held. Lucas, while no one was hurt in that fire, the church is still dealing with some leftover damage after its sprinkler system put out the fire, but not without leaving water behind. Now, I visited the church earlier today where I still smelled a lot of smoke and saw crews working to get the place aired out. An automatic sprinkler system in the United Methodist Church was the key to putting out a fire earlier this morning, but it's leaving the church with water damage still visible on the floors. Donna Buchert is a trustee at the church who tells me the extent of the damage is still unknown. It came down the walls, um, and so we'll have to see how much drywall mm -hmm. has to come out. A lot of ceiling tiles were damaged because it was in the second floor, so we're just we're still evaluating, trying to see what will have to come down. Both firefighters and surf pro workers were still at the scene nearly 12 hours later, with workers placing dozens of fans around the building, trying to get rid of the lingering smell of smoke. Booker says the church will now have to change where church services are held for the time being, but it won't be the first time. Yeah, where we hold, especially our city service, that it was held in the gymnasium, and, but we'll, we'll do that. We've done it before. When True Falls was here, we moved it to another part of the church and we'll do the same thing. A fire alarm alerted the department to the situation. CFD estimates the damage could cost $200,000. Bugert also tells me the building did suffer some damage from the fire, but that the damage could have been much worse if it weren't for the sprinklers. No one's here. We were just very thankful we had sprinklers and they did what they were supposed to do. Now, Bukert also tells me Surf Pro could be here for the next six days assessing the damage and tearing down walls. Reporting live in Columbia, Nia Henson, ABC 17 News. All right, Nia, thank you. A news release from the fire department says 22 fire department personnel and two University Hospital EMS responded to the scene.